it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and welcome to June's Crafty Maven Getaway YouTube Hop. So this one is super fun. Um, we have taken Crafty Maven Getaway Hop, I believe, and we have each taken two letters of that and um, we are using those letters for our uh, product, basically. So, um, I have F and T. So, for F, I went semi-simple and did flowers or floral. Um, so, I am going to show you. So, I have floral die cuts. I have, there are more floral die cuts here. I have floral washi stickers. I have paper florals um, that I may fussy cut. Um, I have wood veneer florals. Um, so lots of different kind of floral things. So for my texture part of it, um, I have pulled a doily. I have pulled um, some stencils to use this Vicki Booten iridescent glaze with. I have pulled some metallic mess sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I have some trusty tissue paper. Um, I have some puffy shapes that also have florals that will give some texture along um, with foam thickers and tassels. So tons of options um, for texture can be just about anything, anything that gives you um, dimension or anything you basically want to touch and feel. <laughs> so um, that is where I'm started. So let me put you on fast forward and we'll get started. Okay, so starting with the picture, um, it is a picture of my grandma meeting me for the first time, um, probably in the hospital is my guess. So I have pulled my colors from her shirt and it's a stripe and it looks exactly like that branding strip. So that's what I was kind of showing you. So I'm going to take this iridescent glaze and I am just going to put it over this stencil and it turns out okay. I was a little worried. It kept popping up. Um, I don't know if maybe adding some washi tape would have helped. Um, it just seemed like when I put the the spatula over it, it just kind of like pulled up the stencil. So maybe the spatula was too small. So not too sure. Um, but it actually turns out really well. And the, the glaze is just beautiful. So I can take that over and I did dry it because I was impatient. And you can see there that there's a little texture to them as far as different heights and that type of thing. So I have this leftover piece of paper from the last layout that I did. And I am just loving ruffling up the edges. Now I couldn't find my little trusty distress tool so the scissors work just fine and I didn't cut myself so that is always a bonus. I'm going to add a little bit more texture behind my photo with the tissue paper and the doily. So that is going to bring in that little bit of tealy color that I want to add as well. So here are my florals. I love this big piece of wood veneer and I got that from Christina from Redefine Creative. I got it from their website and it's just a beautiful piece of wood veneer. So I am going to bring the wood veneer in another place. I have another little flower that's going to go up there at the top as well. And I bring in that little banner that says the very best day, which probably for my mom was, <laughs> and maybe my grandma. Um, obviously, I don't remember it, so, but I feel like they would say that. So 
I love the happy, so I'm going to bring that in as part of my title. I'm not sure what the happy is going to go with yet, but we're going to stick with the happy. And I want to get that branding strip down because that branding strip just matches her shirt perfectly. And I wanted to make sure I include that. So I grabbed this washi uh, sticker and it has like some stitching on it and that brings some of that black to the bottom. So I was feeling like, okay, so I have black in two spots and now I need to add it in that bottom area. So then I am going to work on the puffy stickers and I grab a couple of the florals and a heart and I am going to stick that in three clusters as well as these little enamel dots. And these are really cute because they're super flat. So I was able to stick them in the centers of the wood veneer florals just to give it a little extra color. I do like the wood look, um, but I feel like it just gave it just a little more pizzazz. So that's what I did there is just added those to each of the clusters. So I am going to pull this, mm, it's, it's the Felicity Jane thickers, uh, foam thickers. And so I was first thinking of doing the title of Happy Moments. Um, I thought that was fitting. Um, but I end up going with the love and then grabbing some tiny stickers from the Willow Lane collection. So my title for this is going to be Happy in Love. And that brings a little bit more of that teal because I hadn't really introduced a whole lot of it um, until just behind my picture. So I needed it a couple other places. So I have it in the title and then I also have it um, down in the bottom with that hello sticker. And then I have a little uh, pocket, which I thought actually had a white card in it. So I put that heart up there and it didn't. So I had to cut down one of the cards and I'm going to add this little heart and that will help pull the journaling out. So make sure you head over and look in the box below because everybody's link for this super fun hop will be there and head over to our Facebook group and check out all of the inspiration there as well. We would love if you would give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed and remember to wear your crown. Bye!